Okay, that's it. If I'm not allowed to play escape rooms outside, I'm going to play escape rooms right here in my living room. Hello and welcome, my name is David and this is Life Escape Guide. Some weeks ago I played the first part of Escape First, which was called Psycho Circus. I played it together with Kevin. This week I'm going to play the second part, which is called The Red Button. This time I'm going to play it alone. So without further ado, let's jump right into VR. Okay, here we are inside a room. And this room is quite interesting. It, 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 it's a small room. Oh, and there the dark music starts. Okay, I see. Um, yeah, well, the room is called the red button, so I guess let's press the red button and see what happens. There's also a knife here. That looks a little dangerous. Put it back. Okay, the red button. Ah! Holy... Okay, so there was a trap door above me and a corpse, kind of, missing one leg and missing a head, fell down, that was scary. Can I grab the corpse? No, I can't. Yeah, well, also I heard something metallic clicking, so... Did something else fall down, or was it just the corpse? Sound sounded like a key or so. There is no key. There is a key! Okay, so I was hearing it right. There was a key dropping. Okay. So I do have a key, and I need a keyhole. And there is one. Okay, and now we got a safe here. Um, with another code I have to enter. Are those things? No, they don't contain anything. No. Nope. Here as well. Two more doors for the closet. There writings here nothing inside the closet and those drawers are empty okay everything's empty here so i need to find one code here and one code there and i have those runes here on the wall um oh and there seems to be one more rune behind the closet so, let's see. So those runes, do they have a system? They have different amounts of arrows, different types of legs. Some have circles, some have none. So only four of them have circles? That might create a coat. But then still, which order? Also, there's a light switch I didn't use yet. Does it change anything? Oh! There is a code. Did it come from the light switch? Yes, it did. Dim, dim, dim. So, when I turn off the light, uh, we can see this code here. So, that's nice. Uh, 7453. Um, there's also something that I talked about in my 10 tips for solving escape rooms video that it's always a good thing to switch light switches if there are any in the room because things like that do happen also in real escape rooms so you find the video up there in the info card um, 7453 so 7453 and it doesn't fit here so probably does here seven four five three yes that was right so i can open this and what's inside 
it's a handle. And I've seen a hole here. And when I turn it... Did something happen? Oh! Okay, so there's a pathway in the closets. I think that closet here just moved aside, basically. Okay. Don't push. Okay, there's a red button that tells me not to push. And I think everyone would do the same here and push the button. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so I fell down uh, into the same room again, so... Is it all the same? Same knife, same button. Okay, same guy falling down. Okay, I have to do it all over again, so next time I won't push the button. That is annoying, but it said don't push, so it was kind of fair, I guess. So switching the light again, 7, 4, 5, 3, so it's the same code again. So it's really just the same room over again. 7, or was it 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3. But I'm glad that the room isn't that complicated once you know what to do. Um, so that spares some time here. And turn it again. And now the... I would have liked to see it moving, but I didn't pay attention again. So, don't push the button. Can I do anything else? Don't push. Is there anything else here in the room? 5762. Yeah, so there's a code here, 5762. That's how easy it is. So let's go here. And try it. And that was the two. And that was bright, so I can now open the door. And it just ports me through the door. Okay, I'm fine with that. And we have a whole new room with another red button. And yeah, it's too tempting. Let's press it again. Please don't let me restart anything. Ah. So this opened. Gives me a piece of paper and it says, Do you remember the number that was on the corpse? There was a number on the corpse? Oh, damn it. So, let's go back and see what number is on the corpse, actually. And I can't. Oh, no. Can I go through the door here? Oh, ah. No, the room isn't loaded anymore. So, yeah, I don't remember. Thank you very much. And I cannot open this drawer here so there are more things I can open here maybe no nope, I cannot open them do they open by the red button no it's just this one okay and uh, we got another message by the way uh, that we didn't read yet so I didn't find the courage to press the button it's a crazy alcoholic that is playing with my mind. I never should have stopped at this farmhouse to ask for help. He comes every day at 9 o'clock and, uh, and takes one of us. I only managed to learn one thing. His favorite drink is important. His favorite drink is important. So we do have drinks here. Wine, rum, whiskey, vodka and salt, which is not a drink. There's nothing in here. Do they have numbers? It's two wines, one rum. Okay. Oh, there's something in here. Those are recipes. Recipes for drinks, I guess. Cosmopolitan B52. And we have a picture here. Hey, stay. And that's the corpse, probably. 2018. Okay, so this must be what this note here told us. Do you remember, remember the number on the corpse? 
which was 2018. So let's put those two together and type it in somewhere. Um, there's something in here. Nope. Okay, 2018. That's probably the door we have to leave through, so it's probably this one. 2018. 2018. Okay, this one was right, so let's see what's it. Cubes. Little cubes. Uh, inside this closet was a grid for the cubes. Do they click in here or something? Nope. Where do they belong? Oh! Probably here. And in that order. So, it makes it three. No, 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 that was wrong. Like this and like that. Let's take the two remaining cubes and put them here as well which is seven and nine okay in this order click click and something opened a house can I click that numbers when I click them they turn green and back to blue Green, blue, blue. Ah. Stay here. Okay, so this is another lock I can enter things in. And I'm missing a code. We have these buttons here, which is a three digit code and probably corresponds with that box that has buttons on as well. So let's see. If I press the blue button four times. It doesn't look like something happened, but and the yellow one three times. One, two, three. Didn't do anything. Okay. Well, maybe it's too early. Or a fourth one is missing because most of the time it's four numbers we have to combine. This picture. This picture has a number on it. Two, four, six, eight. Let's go here. Two, four, six, eight. Nine, eight. Nope. But it's a picture of a house, and we have a house. So probably it's for this one. Two, four, six, eight. Something clicked. But where? Oh, another board opened. <coughs> And what does it have inside? It has a medicine bottle. Looks like sleeping pills. ZZZ, then two colors. And a screwdriver, again. We had this screwdriver thing also in another room, I remember. <coughs> and in that other room, it opened a box. I think it was in the mine. So, yes, it opens the box here as well. And it gives us five red buttons. So, let's type those in as well. So, probably that was what was missing. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Can I hang it on the wall next to the others? No, it doesn't click. I mean, there's also this lock missing, but we don't have a order for the colors. Or the colors don't seem to make much sense here. Maybe it's just four, seven, three, five. Don't think so, but we can try it. Would be a little. Too stupid because the colors wouldn't be used. But you don't know before you tried. 
It is? It is the code? Okay. I didn't expect it to be, but fair enough. This huge box for only a small bottle of medicine. I don't know if that's resourceful. Okay, so... Also sleeping pills, I guess. And two more colors. Probably that is for that thing here, because that's basically also the only thing that's missing. So, if we only light those four colors. I, I think we have those two. Those are these. So, what about this? Oh! Okay. That was an accident, but it worked. So we have a key, and this door doesn't have a key lock. So this one's open. This one has a key lock, but it doesn't seem to be fitting. But it is anyways, okay. And there's another message. What does it say? Mary Worth lived near the old railway in Chicago during the World War. She used to kidnap people who run away and told them, torturing them and using them for dark rituals. You can meet Bloody Mary if you blink the lights three times and you scream her name five times in front of the mirror. Her spirit will come and claw your eyes out. That doesn't sound like fun. I don't want to do that. But that seems to be part of a code. So, first of all, Bloody Mary. Um, we were looking for drinks, and Bloody Mary is a drink, so I guess this is part of a coat, so do we have the Bloody Mary drink? No. Cosmopolitan and B52. And then it's five. Blink the lights three times and scream her name five times. We don't have a light switch here, do we? Do we have any more drinks? And not down there as well, right? Ah! There, there are more recipes. And the one for Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. So since this is the last door, let's bring everything here and look what it brings us. So, what does it say here? AA and then the salt put in a glass. AA. B and M, maybe? Like Bloody Mary, AA. Bloody Mary and then the salt. What do we have here? We have vodka, tomato juice, salt, and lemon. We have many... At this one picture I saw we have tomatoes and lemons, so it is maybe like five, four for the AA. Five, four, and then the salt, which is two. But it's two letters, so it's one, one. No, no. That's a little weird. So we also have more things here, four, or it's four letters, probably it's just, I don't get the AA here, but it's probably just, there is one vodka here, so it's one, then there is five tomatoes, which is five, then there is two salt, which is two, and then there's four lemons, and that is wrong as well. Great. We have these numbers here. This call her name five times in front of the mirror and then no. Three and five. Maybe AA is three and five, but no. Three five. And then the salt in the glass. So that is 
One, one. But then I don't need the Bloody Mary recipe. So this recipe has to be good for something. So maybe this thing here is the recipe. So this the Bloody Mary thing and then the recipe. Which is vodka, that is one. To, maybe we have to add them up, like vodka is one, the tomatoes are five, which is six, the salt is two, which makes it eight, and the lemons are four, which makes it 12. Maybe that's 12. It is? Really? That is the solution? That is weird. Okay. We made it to another room. And this one's dark and creepy. I mean, more creepy than the ones before. And it's big. It's a very big room. Holy shit, okay. That is creepy, okay. So we have another number lock here. And there are numbers on the wall, like 7914. Let's try it. 7914. No, that would have been too easy. There are pluses. 79 would be 16. Maybe that's 16 and 5. That's not enough. Okay, what is over here? More numbers, 2. 7, 2, 5, 3. Again, those pluses here. And over here? Nine, one, four, three. Again, the pluses. I got no idea what they want from us. <sighs> okay, seven, nine, one, four. Plus. Those are too many. Men it's three walls, and we have four letters, and we have to go in this way. Guys, I think I'm going to take a hint here. Give hint, no. Give hint. Add the digits of your result until you have a single digit number left for each wall. What? <clears throat> what? So this wall would be seven, nine. Or we only take this wall because we start here. Then we have three digits. If that's one wall and then the two on the back side and then this one again. So this is seven nine, which I also already said is sixteen. Add the digits of your result until we have a single digit number. So that would be seven, sixteen, six plus one, seven. Two seven. So that would be 8, 15, 17, which would be 8, let's try to remember that, and then it's 10, 17, which is 8 as well, so it's 2 times 8, 7, 8, 8, this one is just 5, so let's see. This one was right. Okay, Let, let's be very real here. Without this hint, I would have never ever did it this way. That is not intuitive. There are so many possibilities how to go about with these numbers here. It says plus plus, but that's so unclear. I don't think I would have solved it in any way without this hint here. Add the digits of your result until we have a single digit number left for each wall. Also, this step for each wall is so complicated. 
I'm really not sure if I would have done that without the hint, to be very honest. And another red button. And now, what's happening? Did anything open? Can I open this door? Whoa. No, that was the room. I just finished the room. So, welcome back to the real world. That was the red button. I kind of liked the design of the room, and some of the riddles were fun as well, but many of them were kind of random. Especially the last one felt really random. I don't think without the clue I would have been able to solve this one, and that doesn't really feel satisfying. So in the next VR video, we're going to play the last part of Escape First, and let's see if this one is different. If you liked the video, then consider subscribing to my channel. Also, click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch a video now, you can click on one of them on my right. See you next week, stay at home and stay safe.